Here's a fun fact for you. George II, the King of Great Britain from 1727 to 1760, was the last British monarch to take part in a battle. Rather than die on the battlefield, though, George died an aged man of 76 after suffering an aortic dissection while trying to pass a bowel movement. Not exactly the stuff of legend. An aortic dissection is when the body's main artery, the aorta, tears its inner walls, potentially leading to a full split to the artery. Its symptoms are similar to other cardiac crises and include chest pain, sudden stomach pain, a loss of consciousness, and symptoms that may appear to resemble those of a stroke. Aortic dissection, while relatively rare, is often fatal and requires open-heart surgery. In King George's day, it was pretty much a death sentence. However, there are other theories regarding the sudden death of King George. For example, some have argued that the immediate cause was actually a right ventricular rupture caused by heart disease. The notion that the aortic dissection killed him stems from his autopsy report, which makes for some pretty grisly reading. According to the King's autopsy, on the day of his death, George II woke up at 6 a.m., drank some hot chocolate, and went into his water closet in his home at Kensington Palace. Soon, the King's attendant heard a noise from within the bathroom and ran in, finding the King collapsed on the floor. The personal physician of the King, Frank Nichols, performed the autopsy, which was a vital process in ensuring that the King hadn't died under suspicious circumstances. Nichols began by dissecting the King's abdomen, then moved to his brain and finally to his chest. According to the autopsy report, he found that the membrane surrounding the heart was distended with a quality of coagulated blood, a recognized sign of aortic dissection. This was actually the first recognizable record of an aortic dissection by a medical expert, and the picture painted in the report was a dire one. Nichols wrote, The whole heart was so compressed as to prevent any blood contained in the veins from being forced into the auricles. Therefore, the ventricles were found absolutely void of blood. The autopsy's conclusion was even grimmer, confirming that the king had died while straining on the toilet. The term aortic dissection itself wasn't used in the report because it wouldn't be coined until 1802. Still, the king's death is widely known today as a famous example of this fatal condition. However, some have argued that although an aortic dissection did occur, it was not the primary cause of King George II's death. For one, though the report noted an inner tear on the aorta, the aorta didn't actually rupture. The blood instead pooled under the outer layer of the aorta, and the right ventricle ruptured. This points to a sudden pulmonary event being the immediate cause of death, such as a large pulmonary embolism. In his autopsy report, Nichols wrote that the king had had heart problems in his old age. His majesty had, for some years, complained of frequent distresses and sinkings about the region of the heart. His pulse was, of late years, observed to fall very much upon bleeding. It's certainly possible that the king may have had coronary artery disease, though the other findings in the autopsy were not particularly notable. There were hyatid cysts around his kidneys, which the autopsy notes may have eventually proved fatal, but they were still small and likely didn't play a role in the king's death. His brain and lungs, too, looked normal, according to Nichols' notes. George's son, Frederick, had died before George II, so the king was succeeded by his grandson, George III, the man who infamously lost the U.S. War of Independence and suffered a mysterious and debilitating mental illness. I believe we, too, can make Britain great. You as the Prince Regent, and I as King Penguin! For his part, Nichols did not attend to George III. Instead, the physician moved with his family to Oxford and later retired in Epsom, where he died in 1778 at the age of 80. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more grunge videos about your favorite royals are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.